The economy is the one issue that overshadows all others in the U.S. Everyone has a plan to fix it, and this is Rick Perry's. It balances the budget by 2020, and it grows jobs, and it grows the economy. Each of the Republican candidates has unveiled their own economic roadmap. Perry's big ideas include cutting personal income taxes or an optional 20% flat tax rate on all Americans. It is time to pass a tax that is flat and fair and that frees our employers and our people to invest and grow and prosper. Rick Perry joined the Republican race with great fanfare just recently. His supporters say he's the most authentic conservative in the field. You might be a little surprised. You might be a little shocked. He's certainly got plenty of leadership experience. He's been the governor of the state of Texas for 10 years, and he's well known for his straight talking, down to earth style. After a good start, he has fallen in the polls recently because of shaky debate performances and campaign missteps. Rick, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. His economic plan is designed to kickstart U.S. growth and re energize his presidential campaign. But one of the biggest areas where President Obama and all the Republican candidates disagree is taxation. Perry, like many of his party rivals, is seeking to reform the current tax code, introduce flat tax rates or no tax increases at all, and cutting corporate and investment taxes. Contrast that to the president's plan, which favors a tax increase on wealthy Americans and pushes to cut corporate tax loopholes while ending subsidies for oil and gas companies. But Obama's critics argue his proposals amount to class warfare. They're also a tough sell when the president's opponents are being encouraged by their supporters and the Tea Party conservatives to toss out the current U.S. tax code. Republican pledges to cut taxes may help a candidate get elected, but Democrats argue making such promises is fiscally irresponsible. The U.S. is more than $13 trillion in debt and may not be able to afford further cuts in revenue. Most Republican candidates argue the country's 72,000-page tax code is too convoluted. They say it's yet another factor holding back U.S. economic recovery and needs to go. We should throw it out. We have to. I, I don't think we have a chance to continue with, the, with these taxes. They are too convoluted. I am an economist and I need to use a tax preparer. Regardless of whether Republicans propose flat taxes or no taxes, Democrats are vowing to fight any economic plan that doesn't tax wealthy Americans more. But in a political climate as polarized as that of the U.S., whether by Republican candidates or the president, have little chance of ever becoming law. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.